Okay, so I've fed, I've unplugged the USB cable from over here, and then I've fed it between um, or underneath these plugs just here, and I will plug the rest in, and I'm going to plug it in to the Raspberry Pi, which is almost down near the bottom of this platform. This clearance of this plug doesn't make it very easy. Okay, after feeding the cable through, I've put the right angle adapter on uh, and I had bent these AC wires so they're not sticking out as far. So now I'm going to attempt to plug it in. So as you can see, I had to have this bent at quite an angle so that it doesn't hit the, um, the AC incoming. Uh, hopefully the connection is still sound. I did um, stretch the right angle connector a bit wider than 90 degrees to make it hopefully less strain on everything and validated that the uh, right angle adapter was still working. Um, so let's see how we go. Now we need to make sure we connect all the wires. This is for the LEDs here. This one goes over to the side LED control panel if you have it. Um, the Ethernet cable, the little Ethernet bridge goes from the Raspberry Pi at the bottom up to the second one down on this board here, so the, the port under this P2 port. And make sure that you have your AC power plugged in. And I have removed the USB cable here that went along here up into the port on the back and I have removed both of these connectors and just put a piece of black plastic that's screwed and bolted in just to cover those ports so it's nice and clean. Now back on your PC if you open a terminal um, PowerShell you can SSH into the Raspberry Pi you can get the IP address from Game Engine and you want to SSH in as Pi at the IP address and then the password is pi and this step you can do on um, a non-pro pi as well if you wanted to but you'd have to run your own cabling uh, and then we need to paste in the command to install virtual here uh, the, the, the virtual here server and that's everything you need to do on the pi and then in the virtual here client, links for all of this will be in the show notes. If you right click on USB hubs and go to license, once it's showing up the, the server, um, you copy that to the clipboard and you'll give that information to your VR or you'll enter it yourself on the virtual here website, paste in the license and click close. And then if you have any devices plugged in, they will appear and you can set to use the devices that you wish to. And then we want to restart the Your VR, um, the Your Chair, which I did from the mobile app. So it's restarting at the moment. And once it starts up, it will appear. There we go. And now I'm going to open up something to test the joysticks. So I had the VKB joystick tester. And if I move around my left stick shortly, you'll see that it moves about now. And then I change over to my right hand stick from the menu in the, the middle and then move the right hand stick and it's moving as well. And that's it, everything's done. Virtual here server will start on the Pi when you start up the Yaw and as long as you have the, the client running on the PC, it'll work. And that's it, thanks, see you soon.